Hello Captains, this is Metaman. Today we're looking at a battle I had in the Ark Royal. This is going along with uh, my Fires, Floods, and a free ticket back to port series. Um, I've been seeing so much hate on the CVs, I thought I'd go ahead and uh, give a little instruction on how to play CVs even better. Uh, never hurts to, f to feed the fire and help, uh, help other uh, CV players even get better at it. I skipped through the beginning of the battle. It was a little boring at the beginning. I was doing a little bit of spotting, a little bit of hitting on DDs, but I didn't kill anybody. So right here, the important thing that we're doing as mid-tier CVs is take your time. You notice all my torpedoes are going to hit. I'm trying to create a flood. Take my time. Turn back around. Their AA is not that strong at this tier. Take your time. Make sure you hit this uh, bow or stern. I ended up shooting those torpedoes a little sooner than I'd like. You're going to notice I do hit the bow, though. Create that other flood. So now he's going to bleed. But it's very important to take your time to make sure you get the aiming down right on those torpedoes, on those rockets, on those bombers. Because the thing with CVs is that it takes so long for you to get your next salvo out. As in, you have to go back to your ship. You have to fly all the way back. You, you can lose planes if you just go into a big old AA bubble. But right here, I just wanted to show me burning him out, or flooding him out. Now I'm going to skip towards the end of the battle. It's going to kind of be even. They're going to actually get a little bit of lead before the end of the battle. But... There wasn't a lot for me. I got like six, seven more thousand damage during that period of time. But it was more about spot spotting. I was helping get the DDs killed. But right here, the red team's making a mistake. We are making a mistake. They're in the lead. These battleships, they're kind of uh, looking like they're wanting to move up towards me or towards our battleship. There's no need to. They have the lead. So I'm going to punish them for it. Right here. Like I said, take your time. Get your torpedoes on target. I get unlucky. I really would have liked to have had a flood there. You can see the AA hitting me from behind. Obviously the uh, CV is behind me. But notice I'm taking my time. Take my time. He finally starts to turn out a little bit. I should have shot it a little bit closer to him, I think. I think I only get two hits on this next salvo. But right here, our battleship is at about 60-75% health. There's only two of us left. There's no reason for him to move up. Um, given the time that we have left here, I can go ahead and really punish those battleships if they want to move up. Now, if our battleship wanted to move up and hide behind this island and bait their CV to attack him, and I could put fighters above him, That'd be great. Their CV's making a mistake by trying to single me out. I mean, more power to him, happy for it. But he should be focusing our battleship and then come after me. Because he's not going to kill me. But these battleships, they're kind of waiting for our battleship to move up. Our battleship should not move up. Because he, he could be focused by these two battleships together or even the, the CV could help them out. Our battleship did do a good job of taking out their cruiser, but you notice I'm not panicking here. I know the Arizona does not have good AA. I'm going to make sure I get right behind him and line up and do a gamble. Um, RNG. When you're playing a CV and you're trying to create floods and fire, it's RNG. So I want to get lined up, make sure I do a good hit. I do not get a fire, but that's okay. You're just rolling the dice. You're going to just keep doing it over and over until you create that flood and fire and send them back to port. I have plenty of videos in my uh, playlist on my channel that shows how to counter CVs, counter them attacking you. Um, 
So if you want to play both sides, as in my two main ships are either DDs or CVs. And so I do that so that I know how to counter the other. But right here, the Arizona and the other battleship, they're not doing anything too wrong. They're, they're trying to kill our battleship. That's fine. But their CV should be getting around them so that they can uh, join up powers to have AA. Right there, I create one flood. And once again, we're going to go ahead and roll the dice here and see if we can get a second flood. But especially at mid tier, uh, there's less experience as in players. And so sometimes they haven't learned enough to realize when they're making mistakes. But most of the games that we play, most of the damage we get, most of the uh, kills we get, a lot of it is from the opponent making mistakes, not from our excellent play. And right here, they know I'm the last one. They're getting ready to come after me when. I mean, if I was them, I'd probably not like me either. But, them moving up and wanting to come kill me, I'm rooting for it. Because I'm going to bleed them out before they get to me. It, I can hide behind islands. I kind of try to bait them out right there. Got another kill. Got the Arizona. Like I said, all you're trying to do is, you're going to whittle them down. Bleed them out. Here I try to move a little bit back and forth. I want their um, battleship to see me and feel like if he comes forward, he'll be able to kill me because I'm gonna, I'm just gonna be easy target. I'm trying to bait him out, and then when he comes out, I'm gonna go ahead and be able to um, just either flood him out or or burn him down. But right now the CV is giving him support with. Um, a fighter remember I said your salvos take a while to be able to shoot another salvo so what you're wanting to do here is just take your time wait for that fighter to go away and then I'll attack okay there goes the fighter now I'm gonna start attacking Too often in, well, that was actually his fighter. So now I gotta outweigh the CV's fighter. There he goes. Well, no, he's going around one more time. I guess I go ahead and go on in it anyway. Right there, don't get the lucky uh, fire. But I do usually do a pretty good job of uh, saving my planes towards the end of the battle. Earlier in the game I'm going to go after DDs. They're not going to have that good of AA. Later in the game a lot of cruisers have already hit these battleships with a ton of HE so it's taken down their AA mounts. Now that the battleship's coming forward I'm going to make sure I stay behind an island well enough. So right there goes the fighter. Now I can move in. But some of the main stuff to take from this is wait for them to make the mistakes. Isolate them so they don't have multiple AA against you. Um, take your time because you have limited salvos because it takes you so long to get back up to the ships to be able to fire again. I'm going to get defensive AA achievement pretty soon. Here just once again like I said rolling the dice he's coming forward he should have moved over to his CV. I'm going to Right there, we got our fire. Going to turn around. Now we see where the fire is on midship. I'm going to try to hit him in the, the stern. But like I said, most of these are because of mistakes. And 
I'm not above it. I make tons of mistakes. But when we're watching a video and we're seeing them make really simple mistakes, right there I got the defensive AA achievement. And they did not have to come after me. If you're looking at the score, they're ahead of me right now. And it's getting close to the end of the game. But I created that fire. That battleship's burning. And now I'm going to go ahead and come back and see if I can create a flood. If I create a flood, I'm probably going to finish him off. He's turning out. He shouldn't have done that. He should have stayed forward. I shot those torps a little early. I wanted to make sure I got my second set off right here because, as you'll see, one's going to turn red and then disappear. I'm only going to have one torpedo left. But if I wouldn't have shot early, I wouldn't have been able to hit him or be able to shoot any more torps. But by him attacking me when he should have went over to his CV, he's going to die also. Now we're less than a minute, and we've actually gotten the lead. None of this had to happen. They, they had this game under control, and they pretty much almost gave it back. Right there, they finally take the lead again, but they put themselves in position to lose. Um, their CV would have killed me if given a little bit more time. But you see what I'm talking about. They had the lead. They did not have to send their battleships out that way. We didn't need to send our battleship out that way. Um, a lot of games are won and lost by mistakes. But we're going to end up with 128,000 damage. Three kills. Defensive AA achievement. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and kind of got the ideas of what I'm talking about here. As in, most times it's mistakes that we're giving away or mistakes uh, that the opponent's making and that's what we're taking advantage of and finishing off. But this is Meta underscore Man 2002. I'm going to try to put out a video a day showing, uh, sharing love with our fellow surface ships and burning them down, sending them back to port. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. You guys have a great day.